PDOT here with another tip for you. Uh, this one actually was a question I received on my last video, so let's bring that up. Uh, this comes from DJ Mike GT. He says, Hi, I'm using Strider DJ to beat grid some of my music. I'm having a hard time beat gridding some of my older songs from the 70s and 80s. I have Ableton and I'm using it to warp songs, but when I put it back into Serato DJ, the warping I did in Ableton isn't saving to the track. Can you please explain what I'm doing wrong? So this is actually two questions, and I'm going to go ahead and break down the first one. Uh, I'm having a hard time beat gridding some of my older songs from the 70s and 80s. Uh, that's because those songs, or actually most of, most of them, if not all of them, were uh, live drummers playing it, so live drummers aren't really going to play on time 100%. Um, so you get a little bit of fluctuation in the tempo. So uh, what you want to do is still start out the same way, drag the song into Serato, get a basic idea of the BPM, and then let's go ahead and find the beginning of the song. So it has a little drum roll, but the first beat's basically right here. Then I ran this through Serato, and it gave me the tempo of 114. So let's go ahead and warp it real fast. I know I'm going uh, through this a little fast. Uh, if you want a better description of this, go. I'll go ahead and include a link to my previous video on how to warp below. But uh, let's go ahead and keep this moving. And you can see already, it's already a bit off the grid. So uh, my tip is try to go by, not necessarily every single beat or every single bar, but I, I like to go by um, chunks of four bars. Um, most popular music is set in chunks of four bars, eight bars, and sixteens. So now, give it a listen. Seems pretty on time so far. Again, go by four bars. Still seems pretty tight. I mean, if it's off by a little bit, that's fine. I mean, it is live. Oh, you can hear it going off. And right here, at the 12th bar, you can see it's definitely off. So let's double click, create a warp marker, and drag that out. And notice over here, you might see some kind of float out of time. If you want, you can go ahead and drag those. Um, that's not necessary per se. So let's keep, keep it moving. It's really off. So yeah, let's kind of keep going through in chunks. Yep. Yeah, this process is a little boring. But I mean, it's kind of necessary. And the more you do it, the more you can just kind of do it visually, like, I can tell right here that this is off, but if you listen to it, so, I kind of just use the visual marker since I've been doing it this long. So I'll go ahead and keep that going. Alright, let's go down here a little bit more. I mean, sometimes it goes a little bit ahead, a little behind. Just kind of have to listen to the song. Almost done. There we go. Now, if we listen to the song, different parts, it should be pretty much on time. Right. So now that that's done, it's warped all the way through. Um, another tip, you can switch the mode to Complex Pro. Uh, if you're not really changing the BPM, you don't hear that much of a difference, but I mean, if you have the chance, might as well make it as best quality as possible. Then go ahead, File, Export, and let's save this. Give it a second. 
just rendering. All right. Now let's go ahead and open Serato. Now if you notice, here's the original. We'll load it. This is another secret set, so let's just set one real quick. This is the original song that's not warped. So if we give it a listen. You can see that it's definitely off. I mean, by a lot, just like the original. So let's go ahead and add our new version to this crate. And then let's go ahead and analyze this. I mean, the BPM range is correct. Now let's load that to a deck. go now the beat grid is correct and it's uh, saved to the track as you can see it's pretty tight all the way across I mean if you want to go through and hit every single beat you can but I mean for the purposes of just mixing in and out uh, this should be sufficient so just remember that uh, once you're done warping the song go ahead and make sure you re-add it into Serato um, you can change all the ID3 tags and make it right but yeah that's the tip just make sure it's added back in and it should be nice and tight, and the beat grid should be good. All right, hope that helps. Remember, guys, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and comment below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks, guys.